More Heart Than Talent Radio. Live with you here today. This Facebook Live is being recorded, and I want to welcome all of you who are coming on to the Facebook Live right now. Topic for today's call is the prosperity factor. I started understanding and learning about prosperity in 1995. I started listening to a six audio cassette series that still is available called Prosperity Consciousness by Frederick Lehrman, L-E-H-R-M-A-N. Over a course of the last 20 plus years, Frederick has spoken at events with me on many, many occasions. Frederick is a classical cellist, a world-class photographer. He did a photography book, coffee table book called Sacred Places, and is the author of the highly inspiring audio series, Prosperity Consciousness. I've interviewed him on a few occasions on the More Heart Than Talent Mindset call that was at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you go back in some of the archives, you can find some of Fred's content. And I started listening to that content. I'd never heard the term prosperity. didn't really understand what it meant. It means in, in Latin, it means in the flow. So as you're in the flow, it means you're not in any resistance. You're inflexible. You're in a state of being. And so I listened to his audios over and over and over. And he also did a mindset call for a direct sales organization that was the number one income earner in eventually. I started off in that organization $100,000 in credit card debt. And within a year's time, I had paid off all that debt and had, made, had achieved multiple six figures. Now, I'm not going to attribute all of that to listening to that content, but it definitely assisted me. He's the first person I ever heard this term, your dialogue with the money. And then I've added your dialogue with money is improving. So he was the first real coach that talked about prosperity, money, dial the communication style with money. So I learned a lot of content from him. And then he spoke at my events many, many times over the life of my career. He used to be a, he used to speak at my team events when I was building a network marketing team. And then he's spoken at my protege writer speakers workshop at least 10 times. So prosperity consciousness and then in 2000 I produced my own audio eight cassette series called principles for prosperity if you go to my website goldenmastermind.com I produced my own eight cassette then became CD and now download series called principles for prosperity it has a money exercise in there called success contract for goal getting success contract for goal getting it's very very deep content on being able to improve your dialogue with asking, receiving, and deserving. Now, once again, prosperity comes from a Latin term, prospero, means in the flow, to flow. Now, if you're in prosperity, you are in the flow, means that you're in alignment. And situations, people, opportunities are beginning to avail themselves to you. The parking space is available. You get upgraded. I just received a check in the mail today from Waterside Publishing, which is Career Press, a little check for royalty of my best-selling book, Procrastination Cure. Now, that's that's just a sign in the universe that money is in the mail. I also cover that in some of my content that money shows up. Just like people show up, parking spaces show up. These are all metaphors for you being in the flow. But if you're in resistance like this, if you're in force versus in the flow, but if you're, if you're in a forced situation, you're worried about money, you're worried about your business, you're worried about yourself, you're worried about the economy, you're worried about selling your house, you're worried about worrying and you actually edify worrying, then you're going to be in resistance. So there's a force counterforce mechanism. However, in flow, you're in power. And that power is emotional. It's etheric emotional energy. It's a transmutation of your spirituality, of your charisma, where you're in the flow. And the moving parts, you're able to navigate, you're able to master your emotions, you're in the flow. And in communication and conversation, in that prosperity zone, in that flow zone, you're able to easily and effortlessly differentiate between someone that's connectable versus someone that's not. Someone that's a prospect versus someone that's not, that's not really looking for an opportunity. Someone who could be a great teammate versus someone who's not committed. Someone you'd hire to be a contractor and you know will follow through, or you have a probability of them following through, 
versus someone who can't answer your questions. I mean, this is all part of prosperity. It means that you're in a very relaxed body, being a very relaxed person. You're a human being, soul having human experience, in a very relaxed state of consciousness in the flow. Now, in the flow is alignment. Situations begin to happen to you easily and effortlessly. And it's like this. And so money becomes easily and effortless. So that now that doesn't mean there's not effort involved. It doesn't just mean build it and they come. It means that you're in alignment and you're in you're in your own business. You're in your own life. You're in your own situation where there's a different level of ease in the struggle that you've exhibited. If you've been if you've been a noble struggler, if you've waved the struggler's hit parade, if you have been in a lot of resistance, if you're a chronic avoider, if you're overwhelmed, if you're you live in stuffed feelings, if you are very unorganized and undisciplined, then you're going to feel behind. You're going to be pushing and pulling. You're going to be in resistance, paying your taxes late, being late, being behind. Now, myself, I have a lot of obligations and a lot of duties. I do my best to be my best and not let it overwhelm me. Because once I start to get overwhelmed, now I'm in fight or flight, now I'm in resistance. Always letting go. That's a skill set that you master. It means separation from feelings and events. So there's not a mind-body connection to your past, so you're present. As you begin to wire the neurological network of neurons in your brain, as you begin to change the way you feel, as you change the way you've been changing, as you move into recovery and sobriety, there's a separation between you and you're looking back over your shoulder, anxiety, fear, and doubt. Anxiety, fear, and doubt are no longer in your house of pleasure. But if anxiety and your fear of your house dominates your pleasure, then you're going to be in pain. And it's that pain body that most people stay in that keeps them overwhelmed in an analytical, egoic mind that says, how do I, how do I, how do I, I don't understand, I don't know, how do I, I don't know, how do I, I don't know. And unfortunately, that's the way a lot of your reptilian brain will communicate. It wants to know, how do I? Well, you know what to do. The real question is, why aren't you being the person who's capable of being the person you're capable of? A large percent of America is in liability debt. So much liability debt, they don't even have a credit card. It's amazing how many people have no credit and no money. And then they just barely get by. Well, it's the American way. The American dream has been robbed by the American way. The American way is to stand in line in a pharmacy, take opiates, barbiturates, methamphetamine products, heroin derivatives, and dull the pain, which means dull your feelings. And then stand in line at the bank and deposit your tiny little paycheck just enough to get by and encounter a lot of people who their job doesn't cover their overhead. I mean, that's, I mean this is an epidemic. A lot of people live like this. Their job does not cover their overhead. If you're in free enterprise, a place where you can create what the free market will bear, that's the skill set that you learn to master while mastering your emotions. The term is concurrent. So to be prosperous is to be in the flow, to have situations happen to you frequently that are favorable. That means there's a more effortless ease to the process. People call you up and you pick the phone up and they're ready to buy. Now that will happen occasionally to you as you're in the hands-free zone. But if you're in the hands-on zone, struggling, grinding your teeth, going, oh, by God, I'm going to succeed if it kills me. If you're pushing and pulling and forcing, you're creating your own resistance. Letting go is a skill set. It's an ability to separate your feelings from the events. So prosperity consciousness is an awareness. It's an alignment that situations, people, will show up easily and effortlessly. And you don't have, the, you don't, you don't, your body doesn't flex and go, what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst thing can happen? Oh my God, they're going to want a refund, a buyer's remorse. I mean, this is unfortunately the way a lot of people operate. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, that's a lot of conditioned behavior that you grew up in. Your money talk your prosperity talk, your deserve talk, your receive talk is a huge byproduct of the people that you grew up with. Now, I'm hosting an event in December, no, November. It will be the most unique event I've ever hosted in my life. It is called the Protege Writer Speakers Workshop. And if you are privileged to attend, it will be a mind-blowing experience for you because of the speakers that I've aligned at that event.
Now that that event is for my upper level coaching clients and it's a paid event so it's not free with coaching. But I have TC Bradley will be speaking there, the author of God Made Millionaire. I've actually had Frederick Learman there speak there many times. I'm going to have Karen Chico Sandri speak at that event. She's a Nate practitioner, Nambudrapad, allergy elimination technique. I will have Carla Vilchez. I like to call her a psychic chiropractor who can do muscle testing like this behind your head or her head with the surrogate, a, a exceptional quantum healer. So the event has been changed to the protege quantum consciousness event, meaning that two plus two will equal 16 at that event. So the prosperity consciousness that is going to be disseminated in that room through the attendees and the speakers, there will be created a one with Scott Burnett, an exceptional legal professional and tax professional, and, and someone who can really assist you to scale and strategize your business from Reno, Nevada, will be at that event. A former prosecuting attorney in for Santa Barbara County will be one of the speakers. Then I will have a whole host of speakers. I'll have Brittany Carr, someone who's very skilled at social media branding and is an activist. And so the, there's going to be a lot of consciousness in that room for with the speakers and the attendees in a very small group of entrepreneurs. It's going to be 20, 30 people. T.C. Bradley, the best-selling author of God Made Millionaire, who has more hits on his website than Oprah. So just the speakers alone in a group of 20 people, well, the energy in that room will be so relaxed and so conducive to breakthrough factors, through letting go, through quantum healing, through ideas, insight, wisdom, consciousness, and then awareness of what's going on in the world, starting to understand you know, who's pushing the buttons, who's making the moves, how we're being brainwashed and mind controlled, how to step out behind the veil and take a good look at what's really there, and then being able to move into a level of consciousness so that you, me, us, we, we in consciousness can operate in free enterprise in a very relaxed body. Now, as you start to understand cause and effect. So if I have hay fever, well, that's an effect. That's not a cause. And the medical community wants you to believe this due to allergies and pollen in the air and the time of season in situations like this. But as you start to understand and become a quantum healer of yourself and understand prosperity, you will start to look at the cause that creates the effect of why you do what you do. And then you yourself will begin to heal your own body. That's prosperity because you're not panicked. You're not overwhelmed. You're not running to the medical community. You're not standing in line for the blue pill, the green pill, and you're not getting billed by Anthem Blue Cross. You're, you are in your power. You're hiring top tier, top tier holistic practitioners who give you great insight and wisdom on why you do what you do. Like Jennifer Bowden, who is one of the, one of the attendees on today's call. If you haven't, if you haven't ever contacted Jennifer, it's B O W D E N. Jennifer Bowden. She is my acupuncturist, and she's also the acupuncturist of some of my students and clients, specifically in Chicago. But Jennifer is someone who can give you great insight and great wisdom on a lot of Chinese healing herbs, a lot of ways to alleviate pain in your body that are non-traditional. See, that's prosperity. When you, can, when you can collaborate and connect with someone who can give you insight and wisdom, I mean, that's prosperity because that's going to bring you back in flow. Just Because realistically, our bodies are meant to be love. Our bodies are meant to be spiritual. Our bodies are meant to connect. We're not, our bodies aren't meant to be in dis-ease. We are not meant to be overwhelmed and worried. Those are conditioned behaviors. And you, if you are a chronic worrier, that's the first situation you address. You begin to let go of these anxieties about future events that haven't happened and stop looking over your shoulder at regret that's back there and you focus on being right here, right now. So that would be a flow state, and you want to finish this day in a very relaxed body. And so these are three situations that you focus on, results, production, and relaxation. You focus on results that are favorable for you. You don't focus on results that are unfavorable, that they might happen, and you let go of these two situations. This is a duality, positive and negative. You let go of positive and negative because they're very black and white. Prosperity does not recognize black and white. Prosperity recognizes movement. Prosperity recognizes flow. Prosperity recognizes a centrifugal energy that's an undertow that's moving forward. 
rather than going backwards. When you're going backwards, it means you're late, you're behind, you're missing payments, you don't have the money, you're overwhelmed, you're worried, you don't know where your next paycheck is going to come from because you don't understand how to create residual passive income. You're not creating transactional money. You're creating very linear money, trading time for dollars in someone else's dream, a place called a job. So when, and if you're in that situation, then you're relegated to what that job is worth. And since you live in America, most jobs aren't worth much more than a quarter of a million dollars if it's a good job. And most jobs are worth less than $100,000 a year, which that relegates you to about $6,000 a month. And you take the top off a mortgage, a car payment, you have kids, college loans, and credit cards, my friends, you're challenged. Now, if you want to, if you want to move out of this toxic agenda and move into higher consciousness, into a prosperity consciousness, then you focus on your feeling, how you feel about self. That's esteem. So as you raise your esteem, as you feel better about self, not your results, self. Results are not yourself. You can have great results in life and still have no esteem because you're not good enough. One's too many and a thousand's not enough. The cardio cocktail that many people drink, the emotional elixir of anxiety, fear, and doubt, even though they're creating results, that's not enough. This is why it's important that you understand relaxation is productive. Your relaxation is productive if you're free of guilt. Your relaxation is non-productive if you feel guilty about relaxing. And, and then when you're relaxing, if you do nothing and you're guilty for doing nothing, once again, this is, this is not going to contribute to your bottom line. This is going to keep you overwhelmed. Success contradicts failure. Success contradicts struggle. I coached several clients alone yesterday that have this deep-seated anxiety about success, but really it's also it's anxiety about failing. So this is their duality. But the real anxiety is the responsibility of either one of them. Now, as you begin to let go of your anxiety about the future and you begin to focus here today, and you focus on creating results that are favorable, well, what does that look like? Well, that's for you to determine. I mean, what? Who are you being today? That's what you want to ask yourself. Who am I being? What are, how am I committed to finishing this day? Because it's the only day you have. You don't have tomorrow. Yesterday is already gone. That's a mystery. Or I'm sorry, tomorrow hasn't happened. That's a mystery. Yesterday is history. What you have is now. That's 86,400 seconds. A good portion of that day is already over. Already half of that day is over if you're measuring the seconds, the minutes, and the time. So you have a full half day ahead that you can, that you can be and stay in the hands-free zone, in the flow, ITF. You have that ability to be your best you the rest of this afternoon. That's a choice, and only you can determine and decide what that means. You don't require input. You don't require anyone else's permission but your own to be your best you. You don't require your mommy or daddy's approval, and most of you aren't going to get it anyway because many of them don't approve of you. And when you start to let go of that and understand facts and fiction and you start to understand drama and dogma and then you start to step into your power and your best self and you let go of the causes that creates the effect then you're going to start to have focus and focus is what gives you clarity clarity is what gives you vision vision is when you have insight wisdom awareness trust now when you're in that space you can communicate with someone you can tell they're not committed when you trust, you can trust your feelings, and you can understand when someone's telling you what they think you want to hear. When you are aware, you know. You know that you know, and you don't have to explain what you know to anyone because you know. And when you know that you know, then you can be I am that I am, and that state is the present. That's flow. And in that flow, your phone will ring. Messages will come into you. There's an expectation of a parking space to be there. You focus on healing thyself, and all of a sudden the medical conditions begin to disseminate. As you begin to surrender your ego and will to be right, now you can be in the flow zone. When you have to be right, that's rigid, that's force. By God, I'm going to succeed if it kills me. It might, because your whole side of your teeth might fall out from all the grinding you've been doing your entire life. When you're no longer the mind-body connection, to the events that you hold on to, when you're no longer the mind-body connection to the violations, the perpetrations, the traumas that have happened to you, when you become completely honest about who in your influence did what they did, and then you become completely accountable for what you did, and you begin to forgive, you begin to accept, 
and you start to find gratitude, that's the flow. That's the hands-free zone. So then the gate, not the gate that opens, but the gate of your walk changes. There's, a, there's no more longer a hitch in your getty up. There's, there's a steady flow. You're in the hands-free zone. There's a methodical way that you operate like this. It's like the metronome. It goes like this. Instead of going. Your energy is elevated. That's consciousness. As you elevate your energy, you no longer look tired, exhausted. You don't talk like that. You monitor your word choices. You no longer say kinda, sorta, guess, I don't know. That's, what, so, that's the way so many people communicate. I do know. And I know that I know, and when you know that you know, then I am that I am, and that is self. And in that self, that is esteem. And that esteem is a prosperous esteem. That is esteem that magnetizes. That is esteem that collaborates. That is an esteem that attracts to my reality. Quality, like-minded. Then you can fill in the blank. Soulmate, success seekers, business builders, vendors, contractors, employees, script writers. I mean, you name it, they begin to show up. And so that... That is what happens as you move into prosperity consciousness, prosperity awareness. Now, that prosperity awareness, that's the prosperity factor. That you begin to factor means you start to understand that prosperity is a skill, and prosperity is a flow, and you, you start to master that flow. And then always let go body. Your body is no longer going to run your brain because your body is now aware, and your brain and your body become one, so you're in your body. Now that I'm grown up, it's safe for me to be in my body. That's an affirmation. A lot of the traumas and events that happen to us, we go to an outer body experience, and we live like this the rest of our life, very defensive, very sensitive, very, very afraid that we're going to make a mistake, get in trouble, very pissed off, very abused, very broken, and then we attract perpetrators and violators to fulfill our feelings. When you are so done with this, you can just look over your shoulder and go, dude, I'm done. Ego, see a chief. This is the house of pleasure, no longer the house of pain. And in that state of no longer being the mind-body connection to eventually you save your feelings, and you are you, and you are free. So if you're on this 25-minute this Facebook Live today, and any of the insight that I shared with you reaches you, and you'd like to receive a free 20-minute coaching call, go ahead and Facebook message me. And I will return your message immediately. Now, I'm, I'm coaching today. There's some great new people on here. Jackie Tennant Baker just joined. Thank you. Jeff Beebe, good to see you. I will be in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. Very unique event this Saturday. I, it's a trifecta event. Corey Blissett, who is an exceptional South Carolina native, who moved to New York right out of college when she was 22 years old immediately became a top-tier trainer over the next several years, over an eight-year period. She became a top-tier personal trainer, training with a very skilled published author, the author of few, several books on, on Wiley and or Simon and Schuster. So she trained under a top-tier trainer in New York City, moved to Los Angeles last October. Corey Blissett will be sharing the stage with me. She's a very skilled internet marketer, a skilled success coach, in a lifestyle professional, a very good influencer. She'll be sharing the stage with me. And then Brittany Cara, an exceptional social activist, exceptional brander with followings in the hundreds of thousands, best-selling author, author of two very controversial and highly inspiring books, one called The Silent Killer on the Food Industry. I'll be sharing the stage with her. And then all I will be speaking in Los Angeles. This will be a very unique event because I went ahead and booked a, a hotel that I've always dreamed of. And in because I'm prosperous, I decided that I deserved it. So I booked the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel, just a few blocks from Rodeo Drive, and negotiated a parking fee for 12 to 15 bucks, which is exceptional. So they're at the Beverly Hills Hotel, $20 for a ticket. Three speakers this Saturday, October 19th, 9 to 4. I'll be leading off from 9 to noon. You'll have Corey Blissett and Brittany Cara in the afternoon. So if you have a team of professionals, in Los Angeles, it's going to be a very intimate event, about 40 or 50 people. Feel free to send your team to this event. Game changing. I'll be covering a lot on letting go in the hands-free zone. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. You have a prosperous day today. Good afternoon.